What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 13 beta 6 which comes just nine days after the release of beta 5. So we're getting close to that one week beta cycle but we're not quite there yet. Now if you're on the public beta program you can probably expect public beta 5 as early as later today. So you guys already saw my beta 5 coverage here on the channel and you guys know how big of an update that was. So hopefully beta 6 here continues to add on to those great improvements and we're going to find out if it did in this video. So of course in this video we're going to talk about the new features and changes some of the new bugs some of the existing bugs seeing if they've been patched or not we're going to talk about the battery life the performance and more so let's go ahead and get straight into it starting off with the size of this update so you can see here on my iphone 10r it came in at just 351.4 megabytes but of course that size will vary and actually varies pretty greatly among other devices like for instance on my ipad pro it was over 600 megabytes it was also a little bit bigger on my iphone 7 right here as well and others on the iPhone 8 have also reported it being around 400 megabytes. So let's check out the build number here for beta 6 settings general about. You can see there 17A5556D. So a pretty similar build number to beta 5, uh, but we do have a different one there. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will see the modem firmware also got a nice big update there. It's 2.00.01. And if we take a look at the previous beta, beta 5, you can see the modem firmware was 1.54.04. So a big jump there from 1.5 to 2.0. So if you were having cell connectivity issues, those may be resolved here in beta 6. So the first thing I notice when updating to beta 6 is that the volume levels have actually been set back to 16 intervals. So if you guys remember in beta 5, we saw 34 intervals of the volume. So you can see the volume takes a long time if you just do individual clicks to go up and down. And that's because basically the volume intervals were doubled, but now in beta 6, they've gone back to what they used to be. So the default 16 level. So you can see it goes up and down what like what we're used to so it's not as many intervals i actually liked having 34 intervals uh, it was kind of annoying but you could hold it to go a little bit faster but it was a lot more it gave you more precision with your audio levels and i actually like that so i'm hoping apple goes back to 34 but as of right now and beta 6 it's gone back to the regular 16 intervals we now have a new toggle inside of the control center so if we go to our control center controls you'll see we now have a dark appearance toggle so we can actually turn on dark mode from our control center so you can see there is the toggle that's what it looks like down there in the bottom right and if we go ahead and tap on it it just changes just like so you can also still access it by 3d touching on the brightness toggle right there and activating it that way so we did not have that on the previous beta also on the home screen take a look at the folders here so this is beta 6 on the right beta 5 on the left take a look at the folder right there look how much darker and more saturated the folders are here in beta 6 now i know it's a different background but it's the case with any background you have you will notice that the folders are darker and they're more saturated than they were in previous betas. So I noticed two new splash screens in beta six here. The first one was for the photos application. So the first time you open photos on beta six, you will see this splash screen right here. It says your photos brought to life. See your best moments from every day, month and year. And then we have all your photos at any scale, talking about pinch to zoom, and then also powerful photos and video editing, which is when you click the edit button, you guys know how there's more options now in iOS 13. So basically stuff that we already knew because I covered this in my videos, but there's now a splash screen for people that don't watch my channel and didn't know those features. So we also got another new splash screen and that's for the app store. So when you open the app store for the first time, you will notice this splash screen right there and it basically just advertises Apple Arcade once again, and then also app updates. It basically shows you where app updates are. But once again, if you watch my channel, you already knew all this stuff. So the icons up in the status bar are back to a normal size. Now they were a little bit bigger here, as you can see on beta 5 especially like Verizon and if you had the 4G logo and everything and LTE it was a little bit bigger and bolder but now it's back to normal and smaller and not as bold here in beta 6. So now inside of the photos application when you're selecting multiple photos you can go ahead and peek and pop on a photo to actually see that photo in its full size. You could not do that in beta 5 you can see here when I tap on it you can see nothing happens it basically just deselects it you can't do that but now in beta 6 you can peek and pop and view that image in full size which is really nice also now inside of the wallet application you can apply for the apple credit card so if you did apply for it online if you signed up just click on the plus right there and then you just go and click on continue and that will take you to the prompt for the Apple card. Now this is not new in beta six, but I did just want to mention it because I did not talk about it yet here on the channel. So there were also some bugs that I noticed here in beta six. And the very first one is if we go to our settings, go to wallpaper, 
choose new wallpaper and dynamic you can see there is actually blank so for some reason it's bugged out and just shows an empty thumbnail if we go and tap on it you can see all the dynamic backgrounds have just these gray thumbnails because they're basically just not loading if you tap on them you'll be able to see the dynamic wallpaper but the thumbnails are broken in beta 6. now some people in beta 5 were missing the announced messages with siri toggle inside the control center you can see mine is down there in the bottom right hand side and also inside of our settings if we go to settings notifications you will see right here announce messages with siri so that was missing for some people in beta 5 but it was never missing for me so some people have also reported that it's missing in beta 6 so let me know down in the comment section below if you do have airpods if those are missing or if they are back again it was never an issue for me it just seemed to be random some people had it uh had it missing and some people didn't let me know in a comment down below if you even use that feature i personally love the feature i use it pretty much every single day it's great when you're on like a bike ride or if you're in the gym and you want to hear the messages come through uh like text messages you want to be able to hear what got sent to you you could do that with this new feature now another bug that really annoyed me in beta 5 is this one right here so when you would miss a phone call it would show the phone application in two different spots you can see it's like way up at the top and then another one right down here for the same missed call so i don't know if that's been fixed yet in beta 6 i haven't tested it uh, but that's been there for beta 4 and beta 5 so hopefully that is fixed in beta 6. now one bug that has been fixed in beta 6 is inside of the mail application at the bottom here on beta 5. you can see that it never showed the last time that my mail was updated but now in beta 6 it's come back and it actually shows when the mail was updated and it was weird because if you went back it showed it down at the bottom here it showed updated just now but when you're in all inboxes for some reason it never showed the last time you updated the mail and i also mentioned this on twitter but my airpods too the gestures would just randomly stop working it only happened on one day and it came back and started working again the next day but that was annoying hopefully beta 6 does fix that i will report back on that in my follow-up video for beta 6. i'll also talk about the announced messages with siri missing in the control center as well and also the phone bug i'll report on all of those in my follow-up video for beta 6. now as far as the performance goes performance was great on beta 5. if you guys watched my video on beta 5 the performance was excellent there was not a single crash on my daily driver here which is the 10s max uh, usually when i went to multitask when i used the bottom bar in beta 4 it was really bad beta 5 fixed that so hopefully beta 6 sticks to that and makes it even better hopefully it doesn't go back to crash or anything like that it feels very solid so far on my iphone 10 r uh, the fluidity of everything opening applications animations feel fine everything feels great so far but of course it's still too early to tell about the performance on beta 6. i will have to report back to you guys in my follow-up video if it's any better than beta 5. now i will say that one application that has a lot of issues for some reason on ios 13 beta is instagram instagram crashes sometimes and you have to go into airplane mode to go into the application then turn it off to make it not crash and there's just all kind of issues with the instagram application sometimes it just says won't load content or something like that you get a pop-up even though the photo is showing there's just a lot of issues with instagram and other third-party applications in the ios 13 beta i'm not really talking about them too much because that's on the developers of the applications that's not really on apple themselves but that is something i hope gets improved with time like it did with youtube youtube really doesn't have any issues at least for me anymore on ios 13. now as far as battery life goes battery life has also been great for me on beta 5. if we go into my settings here check out my battery you can see i am using my phone quite a bit and i'm still getting pretty much all day battery life usage obviously this graph doesn't mean anything because i did charge between them but you could just basically see how much i'm actually using my phone and basically my phone will last pretty much all day i mean like i said until about 9 p.m when i have to charge it because it's at like 20 percent or 15 percent or something like that but overall the battery life is basically the exact same as beta 4. i didn't really notice a big difference going from beta 4 to beta 5. so hopefully beta 6 improves on that and i actually notice the difference going from beta 5 to beta 6 especially because some people are having issues with their battery life my battery life has been fine but a lot of people report battery drain and just really bad battery life overnight like when they just leave it uh you know off when the screen is off it drains the battery for some reason so other people are having issues me personally i'm not uh, but i will report back to you guys with beta 6 in my follow-up video and as far as how the beta is running on my iphone 7 here it's running perfectly fine on my iphone 7 feels about the same as beta 6 to me but of course i will be having a dedicated video coming on the iphone 7 most likely either later this week or early next week so look out for that if you are an iphone 7 user i know i've had a lot of people request a video on the iphone 7 specifically and as far as the ipad goes the ipad is also doing really well 
on these betas. Uh, one thing I didn't really notice is that if you don't have anything in your favorites right here, if you take out everything from the favorites, you can see we just have a really clean view right there with the time in the top left. It's just a really minimalistic look and I actually really like it because I don't really care too much about the weather. I kind of just put it there just to have something there in the favorites tab, but it looks really good and clean with no widgets pinned right there. And you can see once again that the background on the folders for some reason is more saturated and darker here in beta 6. I actually like it better than it was in beta 5. But I did not notice any iPad OS specific features in beta 6. All the features that were on the iPhone are also on the iPad, but I did not notice anything specific to the iPad in this update, at least not yet. As you guys know, if I find any new features and changes, I will talk about them in my follow-up video because I'm sure I did miss some of them. So anyways, guys, there you have it. That is iOS 13 beta 6. If you guys did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future iOS beta coverage. And of course, stay tuned for my follow-up video where I will show some of the features and changes that I may have missed in this video and also talk about the battery life more, some of the bugs a little bit more and things like that. So expect that later this week into the weekend. Also, make sure you guys are following me on my social media. My Instagram and my Twitter links are down in the description below. Make sure you guys follow me over there. I do like to keep you guys updated over there as well. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you soon.